Just when you think the action sequences can't get any crazier, they seem to outdo themselves each and every time. When you see a car tumbling or flying through the air, rest assured that car is tumbling and flying through the air. If that part is never CG, you're gonna see some real vehicle carnage. We do have the guard underneath. Roll camera, roll camera. We have this idea of what if we put these guys up against the tank. It really was just like, let's just fire up the tank and see what happens, and it just crushed the car like it was nothing. At the core, it's the Chieftain World War II tank, but then we redesigned everything. It's a custom tank. Very appropriate for a Fast and Furious film. We had this tank going head on into traffic. You had explosions, bridges coming down, tanks running over cars. It's like a graveyard on the side of the freeway of smash cars. Cars that are five feet tall that now are 12 inches off the ground. The driving is extraordinary. That's a testament to us pushing the envelope as far as possible. To have the characters drive through these explosions, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> and yet, we wouldn't have it any other way. I wanted all of the cast behind the wheel and let them really get a taste for what this is. I always told Justin, I want to be a badass in the motorcycle, whatever. I want to do it all by myself, no stunt woman. And we got great driving skills. <laughs> it's a great compliment to what we're capable of doing. We really crushed his car. That was a heavy stunt. That's called puckering up. The Antonov sequence is about one of the world's largest planes, and our heroes have to bring it down. Well, the only thing they've got is these harpoons that they shoot through the flaps of the wings. It was the ultimate challenge to basically design seven action sequences that's happening all at once. To not take any character lightly, to have the inside, the outside, the wings, everywhere, to have these characters do something but truly put them in a situation where they can have that resolution. Came from back there. I'd never done anything close to that scale. This Antonov with six stunt cars slamming into each other, it's spinning out. You had the fights with the cars with these big wheels right beside you. Just continuously nonstop action. There's really never a moment to breathe. There will be people that change their perception of what action is after this film.